for first half we were very impressive. Um, the way we went about the jobs, how we pressed, how we moved the ball around, the pace was electric. And uh, I was very pleased to see how they played the first half. Um, we deserved to go 1-0 up based on the performance. Pia had another great chance when it was already 1-0 and he should have put it away to make it 2. And then you'll be already home and dry in the first half. Um, nevertheless, second half we were a bit on the cosh. And uh, I thought the team showed character, good character. Sometimes you, you struggle a bit, but then you still concede. And uh, for them not to concede the second goal, to get the three points, I thought it was deserved. Over the whole 90 minutes, there was only one team really that played football and tried to pass the ball around. Yes, the last 15 minutes they, they came forward and it was more of a hope thing rather than quality. And uh, I can't remember my goalkeeper up and making a fantastic save in the whole 90 minutes. If you can, you please tell me. Uh, as you saw my lineup, I had uh, almost three, four of my strikers all carrying little injuries and I did not want to risk it. So uh, if you think about the lineup, how we started, it was a basic 4-4-2 with two strikers up. I've kept my word as in I tried to play as many times as I can with two strikers. And they did very, very well. One of them scored again today. So uh, I'm pleased. Um, in the end, if you look at it, you know, we, we had two new changes, forced changes with Nasri coming in uh, on the right back because Azim being suspended. Then he had to move to the left. He hasn't played many games this season, so you could see he was getting tired. We had to force and change again. But character to the team, they've done really, really well. And uh, I'm pleased for them. Based on their work rate, they deserve to have the three points. No, my, my reason for Prince absence is because, uh, as I said last week, and uh, he needs more work. And uh, there are other places, other players now ahead of him. Uh, you know, I, as much as I am also one of the 25,000 that want to see him play. So even I want to put him on. Uh, however, I'm managing a team here where I have to try and be honest and treat everybody respect and at the moment he's one he's been playing fantastic he did a great job against pkns he's followed it up with another fantastic performance got his goal it would be really unfair for me to not to start his one and put prince tego on there so um, he will come he's coming he's working very hard he's trying to to catch the others up uh, fokido fakri uh, all of them they are all ahead of him so uh, i hope in the very near future that he can he can uh, prove himself and, and you know get the notch above the others, but for now he's uh, he's working very very hard and uh, he's a positive guy. He knows he understands that uh, it's a teamwork. So when the time is right, he will, I hate he will to concede goals, especially at home. But the goal the goal is very easy to uh, explain. Uh, as I said, Nasri, it was his first game in a long time, and uh, he was tired, very very tired. And I was actually just about to sub him and uh, to get him, give him rest when we conceded the goal. Uh, and he, he had tired legs, uh, not his fault, but you know he hasn't played for a long time. So he just had tired legs and he could not just make the block. They were lucky because Farisham still was out there. He blocked the ball, but then somehow the ball still went into their favor to be able to cross it. Other than that, uh, they didn't have any, any clear chance. Well, I will help you with this. You know, you, you guys were here 90 minutes, 95 minutes. There was never any physical contact between me and Mr. Carl Waidang or Waigan. There was no verbal communication between me and him over the 94 minutes. I went across to shake my, his hands and his stuff as my duty to pay my respect. Before that, I felt that they disrespected Kelantan very much. You come here at our home, we give you respect, we treat you everything, we make everything comfort for you. You have the respect or disrespect to turn up half time, four minutes after my players are out. That is so disrespectful and it's unacceptable. I'm a, I'm a man of principle, I come to your home, I hold on to my words. 
My players have to come out, they come out. You do not let my team wait for four minutes, and then when you want to, you come out. That was the first offense, which is very disrespectful. Second offense, I go across to shake his hands and his staff. He refused to shake my hands. Based on what? There was never any verbal commu communication between me and him. There was no physical contact for the 90 minutes. There was not even an eye contact. So why do you refuse to shake my hands? That's very, very disrespectful. And I don't know what he's going to do. As for my part, I have no issues with him. He, he can do whatever he wants. Thank you very much.